Good. <laughs> For life. Are we on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess you're just supposed to do a little chit chat at the beginning <laughs> while everybody joins in, but I'll get going in just a moment. Let's do one more smile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Point smile. There we are. Promise. All right. <laughs> so, um, well, hello to everybody um, from uh, the Borrego Outfitter store. It's Ben. I'm here with my uh, partners, Corey, Karen, and behind the camera, she's not going to let you see her face, <laughs> is Paige. So um, it's great that you could join us for our face first Facebook Live of the season. And um, what we wanted to let you know is that uh, we're feeling that the season is going to be on in Borrego. The weather's starting to cool down. Uh, it looks like... Um, by next week we'll be below 100. So people are starting to drift back into Borrego. And we're all ready, uh, ready for you. Hope that you'll be able to come shop with us at Borrego, Borrego Outfitters and to visit Borrego Springs. So we're, here. Uh, we're anyway, we're here for you. Um, so a couple of things I wanted to just uh, mention. Um, we're, uh, we worked really hard on the store throughout the summer and Corey and Karen are gonna show you in a minute uh, how we've changed things around. We've added a lot of really cool stuff to the store. Um, but we've also, we're, we're working really hard to make it possible for you to shop with Borrego Outfitters. And that means in-store, it means virtually, um, it means in our online store. Whichever way of shopping is comfortable for you, we hope you'll do it. Um, in-store, we've taken a whole lot of steps to uh, introduce sanitary protocols so it is as safe as possible for people um, in this t uh, day and age. Um, so that involves, um, we require that you wear a mask whenever you're in the store. Uh, we have hand sanitizer stations throughout. Uh, we've set the store up for social distancing so there's spaces marked out. Uh, we want everybody to feel really comfortable when they're in here. And, you know, I want to give a big shout out to all the people that have come in over the summer have been super um, cooperative and helpful. And um, it's all working out really well. So if you want to come in here, there's Brago Outfitters the way you always remembered it with a few extra things. Um, but um, it should be a safe experience. Um, if you prefer to not come to the store or you're somewhere else and would like to shop with us, we have a couple of other ways to do it. Uh, we introduced over the summer virtual shopping. And what that basically means is video shopping either with Zoom or FaceTime. Um, and it's been really pretty popular. Um, it's a great way that you can, can um, have one of our team uh, personally work with you by video and um, take you wherever you want to go in the store, show you what we have. Um, and when you're all done, you can check out and we'll ship the product to you or you can pick it up, however is convenient. But the virtual shopping is a really good alternative that we hope you'll consider. Um, in addition, we've introduced um, our online store and we've picked out some collections from within the store um, that we think are special and unique. It's not the whole store in our online store at this point, uh, but there's a lot of fun things, great um, uh, gifts, uh, fun activities. Um, so if you would prefer the sort of traditional online store, then that's another option for you really. Um, I think um, before I turn things over to Karen and Corey, um, what I also wanted to do is just make a pitch for um, small businesses, wherever you are, um, hope that you'll consider um, shopping with them. You know, we're a small business. Um, we have seven employees and they basically count on this store for their living. Um, and that's going to be the case, you know, throughout. We have a lot of small businesses in Borrego Springs. In fact, no big boxes. And so I want to really encourage you to consider patronizing uh, America's small businesses. We really need you. And um, we can give you an experience we hope that's going to be superior to what you'd have in a big box or 
you know, clicking away in one of the giant online stores. Uh, but most of all, you know, we're really going to try hard. And I think you'd find that with Borrego Springs restaurants, with our other stores. Um, we we want to help our customers, and we hope that you'll remember that because you can really make a difference with uh, shopping with us and with them. Um, so with all that being said, um, what uh, Corey and Karen are ready to do is take you on a little walk through Borrego Outfitters. We've got things in all kinds of different places, and um, they'll tell you a little bit more about that. And, um, uh, oh, you know, the one thing I forgot to mention for in-store, we've gone to our summer hours. And so that means we're open seven days a week uh, from 10 until 5, uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 until 4 on Sunday. Uh, so there's basically no excuse if you're in Borrego. Uh, with that being said, let's, uh, let's have Karen and Corey take, take over. Our, you guys are over there? All right, we'll go down there. Down there. <laughs> well, so Corey and I are pretty excited to show you around, you know, just real quick, just real quick. But, uh, um, you know, it's always um, pandemic or no pandemic. It's always, you know, pretty quiet around Borrego in the summer. And this is always the time that we move things around and we do some deep cleaning. And we try and we merchandise and all that kind of stuff. But this year, I don't know, I'm pretty proud of us. This, yeah. I think we really... Everything just, I don't know, all the planets were aligned or something, but everything <laughs> fell into a place really nicely this year, and we're, we're pretty proud of it. And I have to give a shout-out to Donna, who gets out her graph paper and measures fixtures and actually plots out on graph paper, like a little architect, where everything's going to go. Because if she didn't do that, we'd be completely lost. But anyway, <laughs> right. <laughs> so without further ado... Um, this is the start. Where yes. here we are. Let's begin at the yeah, beginning. Exactly. We're kind of, you know, you've heard earlier in the summer that we, if you tuned in, we had redone the clothing section. So we're going to start in the hat section this time around. And uh, even sunglasses. So we kind of created this whole new section back here, tucked away where it used to be all of our games and activities and souvenirs. If uh, you're you know, familiar with the layout the way we had it, so Kate will kind of follow us through the hat here on her slow mo, <laughs> so you don't get too sick or dizzy. Um, we have it all separated out, kind of the same way it was on the other side of the store. Um, we do have mirrors planned to come in, I promise. We'll take care of you ladies and guys who want to see what you look like. But a whole bunch of fun hats here, and even into some kids' hats that leads us into our only section of Borrego clothes and um, men's and women's gear. Sorry, I'm, I'm slow today. <laughs> Stephanie or, or Paige that folded these and put them out. There we go. New cute. shirt. This is very Yay. cute. That's a nice surprise for all of us. Yeah. I like that. So that's a size small if anybody's wondering what that's going to be like. So that's a very fun one. Surprise! <laughs> um, so this section back here, we just kind of did a quick little remake, but the real fun happens on the other end here. If you guys want to follow us down. Come on. Hats stay the same. We've got our jewelry in the same spot. I promise you that. Uh, we even added a few new little pieces to it. The cards all stay in the same place, but then that leads you into the whole new world of Hydro Flask. <laughs> so Hydro Flask originally was by our front door for a few years now, as it's been a really good part of our store and entity. And I mean, if you know the product, you kind of keep adding to your collection because it really does its job. A little bit more Hydro Flask and water products here, and then I'm gonna. Kind of hand off to Karen again. This kind of segue into some more drinkware. You know, these rainbow, I think we've had these for ages and those are always popular. And this now is kind of our uh, Borrego store, um, souvenir, kind of, you know, memento of your visit here. Local kind of thing, Local things. Um, our books. Um, we've got kids' books. We've got books about the desert. Just fun books. A lot of puzzle books, that kind of thing. We've got that all in shelving here now. It used to be on these kind of spinny racks and I don't know hopefully this is easier for everybody I think it looks a little nicer um, yeah everything all right here together um, and some some Borrego items as well gift wear kind of gift some wear. of that local locally exactly. produced El Castison's uh, glass art um, and these are most of these items you can find on our website as well yep. right yep. Um, yep it's part of our collection of our gifts and souvenirs so you can definitely find some fun products on there 
not all of this is there, but quite a bit is. That kind of segues into um, just, um, just kind of, you know, things that have kind of a little bit of a desert theme, you know, the hummingbirds or this kind of, you know, sort of, um, sort of I don't know, colorful, sort of Mexican looking fishware and giftware, that kind of thing. Still doing the wind chimes here. So a little on the Borrego theme is what we're hitting there. We're trying right. to keep it something you might want to take home for the you sure. know, dog sitter. Sure. Um, and that segues into our kids section. Not all kids. Not all kids. kids Actually, and, I should kids say and adults. Uh, kids and adults games <laughs> and activities section. Yeah. There's a whole area here that the mastermind of this is Karen. I can't let her slide like she didn't do all this crazy awesome work here. <laughs> um, I mean, she created these fun, I'm going to let her tell you yeah, about it. I'll we've just... got a lot of new stuff and I'm not going to, we'll do more about this later. I'm not going to go too deep here on it, but we've got a lot of new stuff, a lot of, um, a lot of coloring and art and crafty kind of kits, a lot of games, puzzles. Puzzles are huge now. Um, just, you know, kind of indoor fun. Um, coloring activity books and like I said for kids and adults this is not just a, this is not just the you know like toy section for the little for the little people yeah my sister's um, birthday present just came out of this and she's got a whole bunch of kids stuff and adult things sure. out of that. <laughs> um, and stuff I'll have to send home baby for gifts uh, the, yeah these are our favorites <laughs> there's little avocados and tacos and so cute so it's a little mix of adult and kid because most adults shop for their kids right <laughs> kids t-shirts fun cute things all of our Borrego stuff in here um, and it keeps going you gotta have this cute you know mm -hmm. desert turtles and ram stuffed animals and the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of our favorites did we want to go this way sure let's take okay. them around another okay. little quick um, small change it's very similar to what it was before but we've moved all of our towels or, uh, kitchenware um, placemats and this kind of this kind of goes in with our desert theme sort of mm -hmm. also We've got a lot of the southwest um kitchen kitchenware tableware placemats napkins um some of this is still coming in i got these guys still coming in so we don't have everything for the season here yet but it's all coming in every day um shoes are still where shoes always were most of you know where to find the shoes <laughs> on that end really found its new home because it played into the Borrego theme of what we were trying to stick with something you'd like to take home or just look like a cactus um, but it led into our regular stuff that we always have it always um, our tried and true candle section again we have more coming which was where all that kid stuff was if you can recall everything just kind of has to take a shift somewhere and we really like the way that this played into our home and table and um, personal care. personal care here so from candles into even travel items with your personal care because what are you going to stick in those travel items you know our potions and stuff that you need to take with you so <laughs> we really got to get you down into the gritties here um you know and karen again here she's the mastermind of the uh personal care so that we've got new stuff coming in yep. all season long um and we're gearing up that's for yeah, sure this time start getting all of our shipments in into the window just as the trucks showed up <laughs> <laughs> good timing on the background here um, but if you want to come around the corner and follow um, Karen this way this is our our new home and tableware section in the window so it's all pretty and visible from the parking lot as you drive up yeah, you can when you're see. walking back to your car from Carmelita's you know and do a little window shopping something nice to look at here got a lot of New stuff and a lot of old favorites. The melamine dishes, Swedish dishcloths, mm -hmm. those are a big thing right now. Yeah. Again, some of these items like the Swedish dishcloths and a lot of this Joseph and Joseph kitchenware you can find on our website. Yeah. Um, I think even our, yes, all of these guys are also available Everything. on our website and these are personal favorite. I think all of us have a little oh, yeah. split set of these of some kind. Oh, yeah, for sure we do. Um, can't go wrong with this uh, silicone lid. And then some of our newest items are really, really pretty melamine dish sets that, um, you know, they're plastic. I don't know if you know that fun part about melamine. It's a neat combo. 
um, from Car Carhaunt that's really durable and pretty and easy to take bright colors and yeah, poolside or RV. Yep. And then the newest product that just came in, see all of these cute little sponge holders and little like, soup and coffee things. Paca wood utensils, hugely, hugely popular. Mm -hmm. Just really nice inlaid wood. Well, I think that kind of rounds out where we moved everything to. Yeah. You know, every little thing in this store has to shift one way or another. And as Karen gave, you know, mentioned that Donna has to sit there and map it all out. And how yeah, she it did a great job. And, you know, we had expanded some of the gift and uh, activity section, so we needed more space on top of that. And, um, and it was really a lot of fun. Karen and I spent a good week and a half or two. It's always kind of a, oh, I hope it all fits. <laughs> it's always kind of a little bit scary. Like, you know, you take everything apart, you move every rack, and I hope we can get it all back in here. <laughs> and look but, good yeah. and be shoppable. And I'm really happy with it. I think yes. it worked out really yeah. well. I personally think it looks better than, I think the store looks better than it has ever looked. I do, so. too. I do, too. Really if I do it's say so myself, good. I think right. so, We're too. really proud of ourselves. Yeah. Kind of like pat on the back right. there. Feeling a little <laughs> smug. <laughs> yeah, just a little. <laughs> all okay. right. Well, guys, thanks for the tour of all this. Um, and um, I guess we should probably, so first of all, mention one more time, we're now open for our summer hours, um, season, our season hours. And so that means every day from 10 until 5, except for mm -hmm. Sunday, 10 until 4. Um, and so if you're here, and want to come in please do but try the other options if you're not you know especially the zoom shopping and, and facetime or just on the phone you know we still use old-fashioned telephone <laughs> yeah. if we, if we, yeah. if we are asked to <laughs> um, and um so we're gonna we're gonna try and do these um uh fairly regularly in the next little while every two weeks um i think the next one, uh, Corey and I are going to do a little bit of a deep dive into our outdoor gear. Um, we're going to show you something about our um, hiking poles. Um, we're going to look at some of the other stuff. I'll give you a little uh, primer on how to adjust your hiking pole properly. Um, and um, so, you know, that should be fun too. Uh, we'll hope, hope that you all uh, will join us for that. Um, and hope to see you here in the store or in the ether somewhere, um, you know, during this coming season, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a little unusual, but it's also going to be a good season, um, and uh, of course, we're all really looking forward to making progress so we can use our real smiles. Yeah, <laughs> the real one, not the real one, nice. <laughs> um, uh, with you uh, sometime soon. So, thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks, guys. All right. All right. See you later. Thank you. Bye bye.